everyone, big news coming out of New Brunswick and it's a game changer. The New Brunswick Liberal Party has clinched a majority government in the province's 61st election. And guess what? They've made history by electing Susan Holt as the first female premier of New Brunswick. Go girl power. All right, let's dive into the story. Susan Holt led the Liberals back to power after a six year break. Her campaign was all about the big issues that matter to folks in New Brunswick healthcare and affordability. We're talking community care clinics, expanding midwifery services and funding for in vitro fertilization. Oh, and she's planning to reverse those controversial changes to policy 713 to create a more inclusive environment for students. Basically, she's not just talking the talk, she's walking the walk. Now, the progressive conservatives led by Blaine Higgs had a bit of a rough night. Let's just say they're going to be spending more time on the opposition benches. Higgs, who has been an MLA since 2010, even lost his own seat in Quispamsis. Ouch! Despite their campaign promises like lowering the harmonized sales tax and focusing on rehabilitation over supervised drug injection sites, they could only secure 16 seats, down from 25. It's a pretty dramatic shift in New Brunswick's political scene. And let's not forget about the Green Party. David Kuhn, their leader, managed to hold on to his seat in Fredericton Lincoln for the third time in a row. Go David! But the party as a whole lost one seat, leaving them with just two in the legislature. Kuhn's been with the Greens since 2012 and has been a big part of their growth. Even though the Green Party lost a seat, Kuhn's determined to keep pushing for healthcare, affordability and housing issues. He's not backing down, folks. So, what does all this mean? Well, it means New Brunswick is in for some changes. With Susan Holt at the helm, the Liberals are ready to tackle the big issues head-on. And with the PCs and Greens keeping them on their toes, it's going to be an interesting time in New Brunswick politics. Here's to hoping all these promises turn into action. And who knows, maybe next election we'll see even more historic firsts. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more political updates. See you next time.